we need to know what it is we're voting for, what it is we will get, because this is one of the most important elections that our country has had in a very long time. You know, running for office is like driving a car. If you want to go forward, you put it in D. If you want to go backwards, you put it in R. <laughs> Americans can overcome any obstacle, including wrong-headed government policies. Like, for example, tax breaks for oil companies already reaping record-setting profits. Giveaways for drug companies who don't have to negotiate with Medicare for lower prices. Incentives in our tax code for companies to ship jobs overseas. No-bid contracts for companies like Halliburton. Tax cuts for billionaires free rides for predatory lenders, and a blind eye to firms on Wall Street at the expense of homeowners on Main Street. And who pays the price for these wrong-headed policies? Well, hard-working middle-class Americans pay the price. The oil companies, the predatory student loan companies, the insurance companies, and the drug companies have had seven years of a president who stands up for them. I will be a president who stands up for all of you. <clears throat> I will also lead in investing in our infrastructure, our roads, our bridges, our tunnels, our water systems. Here in Raleigh, you experience America's infrastructure's uh, problems every single day on I-40. And we have to end President Bush's war on science. It has been <laughs> unbelievably <clears throat> disruptive. I would ask the Congress, when I became president, to send me the bill that President Bush has vetoed twice, and I would sign the stem cell research bill so that our scientists could begin to do that work appropriately here. <clears throat> and I think it's time that we once again had a president who stands up for what really makes America great. Because with all due respect, it is not rich people. It is the American middle class and hard-working families who make our country what it is today. <clears throat>